Hi, everybody. Welcome to MHS 600, Introduction to Library Resources and Scholarly Writing. My name is Isabel May. I'm the director of the Writing Center here at UMB and also teach in the Graduate School Science Communication Program. And I'm Emily Ludeman, Research, Education, and Outreach Librarian at the Health Sciences and Human Services Library. So in this class, I'm going to be your main contact for any questions related to scholarly writing. A little bit background about me. You might be wondering about my accent. I was born and raised in Germany, and I came over here on a scholarship and earned my PhD in American Studies at the University of Maryland College Park, where I also taught American Studies and Women's Studies courses. In the past 10 plus years, I have worked in writing and learning centers and working with writers just like you at the beginning of an exciting new program, but also with expert and published writers later on in their career. The library is an important resource for MHS students. It provides tools and resources that are not freely available on the internet. I've been meeting with students for nearly 10 years now, and one of the things I hear most frequently is, I wish I'd met with you at the start of my program. So you're fortunate in that you'll be getting this information at the start of your program. Our main course objective for you is to produce a well-written, well-organized, and well-documented paper based on scholarly research to make an argument around healthcare delivery. As students, you need to know how to find information to support arguments as you write papers. And later on, as practicing health professionals, you'll need to know where to look for and how to retrieve reliable information to use at the point of care as part of evidence-based practice. This course will help you become efficient searchers. And I want to share a quote by a famous American author with you. His name is James Missioner. And he always said about himself, even though he was a very accomplished writer, he said, I'm not a good writer, I'm a good rewriter. So we have found in working with writers over the years that their rewriting really makes a difference. And so the course that we designed for you really supports you in developing that particular skill. We also put together a little glossary with terms such as academic inquiry and discourse, which are terms that often come up in research and writing. These terms can mean different things to different people, so make sure you check out the glossary in the course documents. Every time you will turn in a writing assignment, which is about every two weeks in this class, you will get feedback from us within a few days. So you can then take that feedback and apply it to the next stage of your writing process. Both Isabel and I are available via email for any questions, and my office is located in the Health Sciences and Human Services Library if you'd like to meet for an appointment. And you can find me in the Writing Center, located on the third floor of the Campus Center, a building I hope you become really familiar with while you're here at UMB. You can meet with the Writing Consultant, by the way, anytime during your career here at UMB to get feedback of any of your writing. You can make an appointment either for a face-to-face -face consultation or an online consultation. So most importantly, we both are really looking forward working with you this semester and particularly reading your work.